Go ahead. All right. Again, my name is Frank Willis. Um, I'm a rapper. I'm originally from Florence, South Carolina. I'm now in Atlanta pursuing my career in music. And why I want to be a mogul is, I would say first and foremost, I, I've studied the game. I've been doing my thing for like the past 10 years. And I, I always noticed that it was never my music that was holding me back. It was more so the business side that was holding me back. Um, working with the wrong people, um, you know, looking, trying to get somebody to do something that they technically can't do or they're not assigned to do. And depending on them for that help. Um, reaching out to people and, and you know not getting that response that I needed. So at this point, I just want to empower myself and put myself in a position where I can be my own vehicle um, and and do it legit, do it the right way. Um, so I won't have to bump my head as much, and I won't have to spend another ten years trying to do something I was always doing and it wasn't really working. Um, uh, and another thing I noticed that the artists that don't you know come in with their own situation or with their own deals. The only artist that's getting deals is the artist that function independently or that function with their own company. And when you get signed on, you know, just to sign on, a lot of those artists get exploited and they don't get paid as much. And I know a lot of the labels are doing the 360s and it's like pretty much everybody's going to get one and that I don't mind because, you know, it's, it's all about the opportunity for me. I just want to be heard. But I want to put money in my pocket too. So... Versus you not having no situation, your 360 is going to be pretty bad. But if you do have a situation, you got more leverage when it comes down to your deal and getting more money. And um, and again, you have more, you kind of get more creative control too. Because it's like, all right, this guy has proven that this stuff sells. He has a following. People want to buy it. People like it. Right. Versus, well, I'm just an artist that makes music. Okay, well, who's buying it? Nobody. So right. we going to put an image on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make you rap on this beat. You're going to turn up. You're right. going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to do a lot of stuff that you don't like. Right. And it's like you got more more leverage. Like, you know, you can sign on as an artist and get exploited. But then, you know, you can come in like, I, I say, for example, like TDE. They was already independent. They already had their own thing going. So when they got down with Interscope, it was like, okay, we're going to give these guys the machine and creative control. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, well, we're going to need two or three for radio, but the rest you can do you. And, you know, pretty, pretty, I'm pretty sure they get more percentages or points on their projects because they're the production company. Right. Well, so let me ask you a question. And these aren't really in any order, but I wrote it for, you know, a reason. Which one of these describes, which of these words right here, which one, I guess, would be most descriptive of, like, the reason that you're doing this? Like, what motivates you Is it something to do this? Is it something physiological? Is it safety and security for yourself and your family? Is it out of, you know, love or belonging? Is it out of esteem, meaning like self-esteem or other people respect you? Is it self-actualizing, which is kind of like more so, it's realness, like self-reflecting, wanting to know where you stand in situations? Like, what motivates you? Or what would you say is your number one motivator factor? The number one? For you, of like this list, what term? I would, I would definitely say the love, man, because the love hits all the other, all the other spots. Okay. Because if you love it, you'll create a way to have that safety and security with your finances. Okay. Um, you know, if you love it, you'll make music that can get you that esteem and respect. And then if you love it, you'll want to see it actually come to pass. So the love that that's the seed that gives every everything else life. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right.